this is Lady Boulay and I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, today I'm responding to something that I just saw on CNN, and that's about the need for black male teachers in the classroom. The ratio for teachers, public school teachers in America, is 61% white women, 1.3% black men. The demographic of children that has the most difficulty in school, whether it's discipline, academic performance, or even socialization, socializing with other children, is black boys. So the need for black men in public education in America is great. Now this is beyond all of the nonsense that can go on between black men and black women, especially a lot of this nonsense that goes on on social media. And a lot of these are people who failed in school and who have failed to a large extent in life. And they are on social media airing out their grievances towards some unknown enemy that they think is responsible for their pain. What we really need is black men to take charge of the education of black children. And when I say black men taking charge, I mean we used to have black male principals in these schools. This was before this so-called integration. And they ran those schools. And they ran a tight ship. And the graduation rate was greater. The classroom performance was greater. We had greater success on all levels when there were more black men involved in the education of black children. Black women are always going to do what they do. About 11% of American public school teachers are black women. Now, if we had an equal number of black men in public education, we would be making some progress. Not enough, but we would be making some. It would be a good start. But with black men being 1.3%, that just is not enough. It's just not. Integrating the schools in America was supposed to help black children academically and it was supposed to close the achievement gap between black and white students. What has happened is that the schools never really integrated and now black students are more isolated than they've ever been before because the schools have resegregated. So what we have left now is a lot of white teachers teaching a lot of black students. That's what integration has become in America. I feel like black people should just forget about this so-called integration stuff and take charge of these schools where black children are in a majority. Black people need to go to these school boards, need to go to the state board meetings and make our feelings known because the goal is to teach our children so they can function and navigate in this society. And they can't do this if they can't read, if they can't do math, and if they can't discipline themselves to do the work in the classroom. And they do better when they have black teachers, male and female, and black people. We have to come to terms with that. This system was not really designed for any of us to really succeed the way we have done as it is. So it's not going to improve so we can do better and become more competitive. And we have to deal with them on the basis of what's real and what's going to benefit us and our children. If we had black men in these schools from kindergarten on, teaching them the basics of education, building them from the ground up so that they understand the value of an education, and steering them into the STEM programs. Black boys are good at engineering students. They're good math students, but they need the proper guidance, and the proper guidance will make them into better students and better citizens. And let's be clear, even children from the projects are smart. The problem is that they don't get the early childhood start. They don't get the jump start that they need in education so that by the time they get to kindergarten or first grade, they're in a class with children who come from middle class homes where the parents have been reading to them and talking to them and taking them to the zoo and taking them to Disney World and all sorts of things. And they've already been in pre-K for three years. So the children start out behind. That's a big problem with black children. And that is the reason why so many school systems now have a pre-K program where children come at the age of four and get the early start in the basics. But you still have to stay on top of your child's education. 
black men could offset this ignorance that black boys often grow up with that you're trying to be white if you're a good student. You're trying to act like white people. And increasingly, <laughs> white folk are not doing all that well either. But what I'm saying is that a black man could offset not just one black man. It takes a group of them to offset this foolishness that they have in their minds that they need to act stupid. That they need to do the lowest and the most ignorant thing there is. Black men need to be in the school making them learn, making them understand how to wear your clothes, how to speak, how to behave around girls, how to behave around each other. And not fighting, don't not, not letting fighting be the resolution to everything. Black men can do that. Black women can do some of that. But black men have to do this. When they say a woman cannot raise a boy to be a man, that's what it's talking about. A black man needs to model the behavior that these boys need to have as they grow into teenagers and into men. Studies show that even if you don't have a man in the house, a teacher can make the difference in your life. A preacher can make the difference in your life. When black men are involved and impact the lives, the day-to-day -day school lives of black boys, you get a much better outcome. So what we need less of is black men on social media calling themselves dating coaches. It's something that they have absolutely no training for and don't know what they're doing. And more black men in the classroom trained, caring, and nurturing and impacting the lives of the next generation. Now one big drawback for black men teaching is the pay is low. I mean it can start anywhere from 50 maybe in some big systems 65,000. That's not a lot of money for a man, it is true. But there are ways to supplement that income even in the school system. <laughs> some I know some black men that drive the school bus, but usually and I think this is true down here in the south, a lot of them have supplemental incomes. They have side jobs. One of my college professors said that everybody needs to know how to do two things well. Most black men know how to do two things well. It's just how they decide to combine those things. But there are things that they can combine with teaching where you're really making an impact to society. And then there could be something else where you could add to it to make a good living. And I think black men are smart enough to figure it out if they ever come to understand how much they're needed in the education system. Fortunately, there are opportunities to advance within a school system. You may start out making low pay as a teacher, but there are steps that you can climb up the ladder. You can become an assistant principal. They make more money. Then you can become the principal, make even more money, and then you can get a job at the Board of Education. There are several jobs at the Board of Education that pay well, including the superintendent. So the superintendent of a big school system makes a good salary. So there are opportunities to advance. You just have to get your foot in the door and have that little supplemental thing on the side until you can advance. Black men have a wide range of experiences. Every experience can be monetized. You can become a school teacher and still have a YouTube channel. Hopefully that would be a channel that would focus on uplifting the black community, especially addressing issues of children in school and how parents can help their children to succeed. Or you can become a consultant. Or you can take some kind of a ministry with the prison, get some kind of a grant where you can where you can mentor people in prisons. I think there are all kinds of grants out there. You just have to be creative. But you need to know how much you're needed in the in the community. This would be my plea, and I'm saying plea to black men to consider a career in education. The need for black men in public education in America is critical. Boys respect men. And black men are not afraid of these boys. Sometimes these boys, these big boys can be very intimidating in these classrooms with these teachers. And that's why they're writing them up and sending them out and suspending them. Whereas a black man might be able to harness that energy. Especially when they have black men figures throughout their educational process. Sometimes these boys don't have fathers at home. So they really need that male figure. 
And I cannot stress enough that black men are not easily intimidated by black boys because they have that same energy. They have the same energy. They just have learned how to control theirs. But they recognize it, and I think they handle it better than women do. When black boys raise up at women, their reaction is very often to write them up, send them to the principal, get them in in-school suspension, or send them to the alternative school and get them out of the school altogether. A woman will do that, I think, a lot faster than a male teacher will. I can remember as a fourth grade teacher one day, coming from lunch, I was at the back of the line trying to keep the noise down and thinking I'm looking ahead at the front of the line, but somehow some boys who were in the front got in the classroom before I did, and by the time I got to that classroom, they were fighting like men. These kids, some of these children know how to fight. The girls fight like boys, and the boys fight like men. And these boys were fighting. I mean, they were swinging like grown men. And I'm like, what What in the world? So I had to call for help. I had to call for somebody because they advise us not to get between these children when they're fighting. That is, teachers are advised not to do that. A male teacher came into that classroom. He pulled those boys apart. He threw one against the board and he threw the other one against the wall. And he stood between them with his fists drawn, daring either one of them to move. And they did not move. And I thought, now if I had tried to break these boys up, I would have ended up on the floor. So black men are needed in these schools because these schools pretty much have resegregated. So they're mostly black students with a lot of white teachers because they need to work. So they're there and they don't have good classroom management sometimes because, and I have worked in both environments, white people do not tolerate things that black people will tolerate in the education system. Generally speaking, and I know things are done differently in different parts of the country, but generally speaking, white children do not come to school thinking that they can work out their anger issues. And if they do, if there's a white man that's a principal of that school, he's going to find out very quickly, this is not the place for you to come to work out your anger issues. White boys understand that. Black boys understand that when there's a black man there. Now, black men will give more time to the issue because they understand the issues that we have in our communities. But you have to have mature men. You have to have mature men who really understand what's going on. In the schools that, those, that you have those men, those schools are more successful. So I'm making an appeal to black men. If you are a black man and you're retired and you want to get back into the swing of things, go back and go to the Board of Education and see what you can do. Substitute. Become a substitute teacher. If you have children or grandchildren and they haven't made a decision, encourage them to go into education because the pay may not be great at the beginning, but there are opportunities within the school system to advance. And it's also a good chance to start a business on the side, something that, could, that you could do on the weekend. Either way, black men are really needed in education. This is a serious matter because we're letting just anybody educate our children. And as long as we do that, we're going to get the outcomes that we're getting. Black men need to be encouraged and need to be convinced to become a part of the educational system at every level. From the elementary, middle school, high school, every level, black men are needed in every job. Even if it's the librarian or the counselor, the the maintenance engineer, the cafeteria workers, the PE teacher, the in-school suspension teacher, every level. We are giving up our power to other people who actually do not understand black children, black culture well enough to know how to minister and nurture these children. Because you have to do more than teach. You also have to minister to these children. So we, but people don't understand. Black people, so many black people operate like we think that everybody understands us. They don't. They don't. And so we need to take charge of our children's education. It is our responsibility to do the heavy lifting where that is concerned. Okay, everybody. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. 
subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and as always, have a great day.